Well, hi guys. So today I'm going to be just taking some leftovers and making a little late afternoon lunch, early dinner, because, um, yeah, I was looking at a cookbook. I was saying, oh, what can I make with what I have? And their ideas weren't any better than mine. So what I'm going to, I have a pan over here and I have some butter in this pan. Oh, there we are. Um, so I'm just gonna turn that on, heat the, the butter, because what I have here, um, I have some steak that I grilled. You can see the grill marks. Um, so this, this is leftover steak. This is um, prime, um, well, I can't remember. Can't remember the type of steak we have here. And then I have some green vegetables. These are, this is just a, um, this is just a spring mix. And these are some um, cool bananas, peppers from the garden that um, I let get red because they're, they, they show up better if they're red. And then this, this is culantro. And the smell is wonderful. I picked this earlier this morning before I actually decided exactly what I was gonna do with it. So then I um, brushed my teeth, or flossed, and I was like, oh, this floss tastes like culantro. And it was, it was still on my fingers and I had washed my hands about three different times because of um, doing a little gardening and this and that and, you know, making things for the dogs to eat. And well, anyway, that lasts a long time. The oil gets into your fingers, so. Anyway, um, that was fun. Next time, let me let me pick the mint first. Okay, so we have salt and pepper. I have two, four, six, eight eggs in this bowl. You probably already figured out what I'm gonna do. And steak, some very sharp, sharp cheddar cheese. And then I have um, some cheese that I picked up. I went get one for you at the store. And then we have this onion. So what I'm going to do um, and I probably should make some coffee. Yeah, because it's always good to have that going in the background. You can see all my junk lined up in the kitchen. Okay, so that's getting getting warmed up. I'm going to actually put this in the oven and I'm gonna bake it right in that pan. But let me show you what I got. So, you know, this is the fun thing about filming for your kids and your grandkids and your great grandkids. It doesn't matter if Pika's house's kitchen is kind of messy because, you know, real life. All right, so I have, these are the cookbooks. I was, this is a cookbook that I was going through this morning and it's called The Way to a Man's Heart, the Settlement Cookbook. And there are a lot of really great things in there. And my husband's mother of blessed memory had this cookbook. So we have a lot of fun making dishes from this. and. You can see, I got to the egg section and then I thought, hey, let me make something with eggs because I have that, that steak and normally we'll have it on salad or something like that. And yeah, I just want to do something different, but I want to show you these. Look at these guys, crystal champagne flutes. And I just got them. We have a local store and they're merchandise that people donate to them and then the proceeds from selling this goes to our local hospice house um where they you know blankets and just different things that they do for the patients there and um a lot of people who have had a parent or loved one that passes away they will give them you know do a yard sale or something or you know some things that are quite valuable but a lot of things that are really nice and really valuable, they will sell at the store. And that's where these crystal champagne flutes came from. So I love helping them and I, I love some of the fun stuff that I get there. So those were only $2 each. So I'm really happy to have them and I'm happy, happy to help someone else. So that, that's a really, really fun thing. So while that's warming up, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to slice up the steak and fry it in the hot butter. Now, I don't know if you've ever done that before, um, grilled a steak 
and then the next day you eat it, it's not quite as good. These are really, these are from Costco and they are the bladed steak, which means that they, here we go, we're starting to brown just a little bit. So that's exactly, exactly where we want it. Um, it's bladed steak, so it's really super, super tender. What I'm doing wandering around is getting my tripod so I can use my hands. But it's a very, very tender steak and, well, it's just, just yummy. So anyway, but this is what we're gonna do with it today. We're going to make um, a pika egg surprise. So it's gonna be cheesy and yummy and, and good. So let me get this set up and we'll get chopping. Okay, so we're just going to cut this in sort of bite-sized pieces so that when you grab a bite of this and you just don't have to, you know, over chew. But this is, <laughs> the dogs are going crazy. They love barbecue day. Um, so anyway, <laughs> you know, this has been in the refrigerator and it's been cold and I tell you, oh, it still smells wonderful. So let's get this chopped up and then we will get our eggs whisks and we will move on to step number who knows what. All right, hang on guys. All right, you can hear that butter sizzling. Perfect. So I'm just going to put the meat in and let that, you hear the nice sizzle, love that. I'm just gonna brown the outside of this meat. There we are, just brown that a little. So that when you, you get it in the egg, you're going to just have completely braised meat on both sides. A little searing. Now, if you um, have never done this and you've grilled, you've grilled out before, um, and you want to reheat the steak, this is a wonderful way to do it. Um, you don't have to cut it into bite-sized pieces, but you can just um, get the butter nice and hot and sear the outside of a steak, and it's fresh and delicious. And I think it's even better than the day you cooked it. So that's just, just my little my little tip to you babies. So it's always good. Especially, you know, if you're going out to eat and you get a steak, you're <laughs> they're just not as good as they used to be. But you get a steak out and then you bring it home and you have leftovers and the leftovers not very good, but this is a way to revive it and actually make it better. So anyway, a little better little butter full of love. All right, so we're gonna move that over to the side because I want that pretty warm when we mix it with the egg. And then, here goes, here goes our cool banero peppers. And this is just pretty much the same as our red bell pepper. And it's not any different. But if you like it hot, put in a hot pepper. Yum, yum. Okay, so we're gonna put the meat on, stack it on top of the peppers. Sometimes you can, sometimes you can't. It keeps the meat from cooking too much more, but it keeps the peppers and onions near. So we have that on low. So we're gonna ignore that for a little while. And now we're gonna go over my doggies back here. Now, why am I doing this with my camera? I don't know. I just get tired of flipping it around. So I, I think carrying it around, you get the idea. You know I'm in my kitchen. No, there's no, what do you call that, um, film and crew here. So, all right, lots of salt. Because you have eight eggs. So pre pretend you're salting eight eggs individually and you'll figure out how much you need. So we're just going to flip these up. Ah, sorry about the noise. All right, so that's about it. You don't, you don't have to go overboard with it. And you can could add a little cream here if you wanted. But I'm using steak that has fat. I'm using butter that has fat. Um, so I just really don't feel like I need to. Now this, I got all the, oh, there's a piece of cilantro. No, yep, no, no, it's not. <laughs> 
So this is just going to be mixed in with the egg. So that'll just sort of like spinach or something like that. Now I have um, this piece of cheese, which I'm going to shred to put in. I'm gonna shred this to put it into the egg mixture. While I was over there, this is for the doggies, so I have to give it to them all three at the same time. Um, I turned off the, let's see, I hope, I hope you guys can see this. So I turned off the fire over there so I can still hear that sizzle. So I know that there's enough heat that's gonna to continue to cook the bell pepper, or the cubanero peppers and the onion. And that, that's so that whenever you eat this, they'll continue to cook in the egg mixture, but when they go in the egg mixture, it's gonna cool them down, and then they have to heat back up. So, now if you're putting lots of hot, like if you're making a quiche or something, I'm not gonna call this a quiche, but if you're making a quiche and you're putting it in um, a crust or something, you don't have to cook it as long if the crust was warm and the things you're putting into it have been cooked. So everything um, raises the temperature of your eggs. And my eggs have been sitting out. I took them out this morning because I knew I was going to be doing this. All right, so that's enough. That wasn't hard, was it? So you can shred your own cheese. I like shredded, shredding my own cheese better because it, it just tastes better and it melts better. But yet Sargento was, I wouldn't get one free. So what, if, what am I gonna do? All right, so I'm going to just put this cheese right into this egg. Okay. The dogs don't mind if I leave a little cheese on that plate. They'll take care of it for me. So I'm just gonna mix this a little. Now I'm gonna bring that pan over here so you can see what I'm gonna do to it. How do I do with it? Okay, either one. All right, so hold on, let me go get that. Okay, so this is cooling down pretty well. There we go. You can see that the um, the onions have softened a little bit. All right, so we're gonna mix this. The thing is, I, as I mix all these things, all right, I'm gonna put that in so that kind of cools. Your, the pan is pretty warm, so that's going to cook the edges of my eggs faster. So this kind of helps, and I'm lifting it off the counter, cooling it down a little. Look how great that would be as a salad. Put it through a little vinaigrette in that. <laughs> Normally, this is our salad. Um, just, it's just so good. It's so so yummy and satisfying. Um, so we don't we don't need the potatoes. We want the potatoes. We don't need the potatoes and the rice and all that stuff. Just just yummy, yummy, good for your food. All right. So here comes the egg egg stuff. So. I don't know what kind of cook you are, but I'm the cook that just thinks up something and just does it. Um, I do, just like today, I will look at recipes and I think about how they taste and I have a great time doing that. And then I just go make something else. I have, I don't know, maybe it's a <laughs> mental deficiency. I can't seem to make what I read, but they do inspire me to make things. So this is an inspiration of reading a cookbook. So that's kind of just the way I am. You might be that way too. You think about how things would taste together um, and you make it now. This is so, and I think this about every dish practically I make, unless it's from a recipe, um, I think you could you could go Mexican flavors with this. You could do Indian. You could do Asian because look at that. You can imagine something in your mind and you can see the flavor right in the pot. So that would be so much fun, wouldn't it? I'm not gonna do any of those things with this, but I know it's gonna probably be our dinner. So any of that would work. Or you know what would be fun? 
just cut it out in wedges or scoop it out and put a little marinara sauce on it. You could go Italian. You could put a scoop of it out and do a, a nice um, cream sauce over it. That would be good too. I mean, too. anything you want. Make one, you could make one dish and then every night it'd have a different flavor. But anyway, I know this is a lot of cheese in it and I don't normally eat so much cheese, but I'm making it for you guys and my babies out there, wherever you are, whenever you're going to be born. Anyway, all right, so I'm gonna pop this in the oven. I have the oven at 350. I'll probably turn it down to 325 because it's eggs, it's gonna cook fast anyway. And just see how long it takes. I'm thinking 20 minutes, but who knows? So anyway, so this is gonna go over there. I'm gonna clean up my mess and then we'll take it out and see how it looks. So I literally, not figuratively, literally searched for my phone for 10 minutes because I forgot that it's my phone that I film with. So I don't know, I don't know. But anyway, so now I'm back. I have um, 10 minutes to go on the, whatever that is. I'm making my Pika surprise. So as you can see, Everything is melted on top. Mm -hmm. So that's really a good thing. Um, that means I, I turned on the thing. Look at this mess, okay? So those are actually clean pots. That's my cast iron, which I keep in the oven. And the other one, the blue one, that's also cast iron enameled. Um, and that's my soup pot. And, in my everything pot and last week it was my gedempta chicken pot so anyway so that's my dog food pans my dishes that i um used for this little cooking experiment and those are clean dishes in the dishwasher that i have to put away and so it's a lot of it makes a lot of mess here guys and this behind me that's my clean corner that's my filming corner and yeah so that's what's going on just hanging around i'm going to clean those dishes now that i found my phone and i keep looking this way like what's over there but you know what's over there if i look straight at my phone it picks me up to the my right your left oh you know there's so much to learn in this youtubing you view YouTube being business, but what I want to do is to, okay, that's my other side. This is our water filter, um, cleans, cleans our water. These are our drops, trace minerals that we put in our water because we take everything out of our water. And then our vitamin D3 and our, oh, oh this is interesting, detoxidine. Um, but that's our, our iodine. Three drops on your tongue. You know, it tastes like you're licking band-aids. But anyway, so that's that's my kitchen. And this is my this is my little hand washing cup. If you know what that is, leave leave a comment below. Alright, well thanks guys and and thanks for touring my messy kitchen. I'm gonna clean it up and then we will get back to our pick a surprise. Okay, hang on. Okay, so I have been baking this. Uh, yeah, it was about 21 minutes or 22 minutes, including broiling time. So here it is. So, if you can see that. Now the top of this um, looks like it has oil or something on it. And that just comes from the cheddar cheese. All right, let me close this. So another exciting thing, oh, I really should hold it out that way. <laughs> Too many wrinkles. Okay, so while you were gone, I got the kitchen cleaned up, except for my glasses, which I have to find a place in this cabinet for. And then uh, my cookbook, which I'm still, still reading. Um, 
And these are um, gifts for people that have just come in the mail from Amazon. And that's Jules. Jules just got back from having the pool water tested and another errand. We won't, we won't mention. Say hi, baby. Hi, baby. Hey, baby. So anyway, I'm going to let this cool and take a look inside. Let's see. Let's put you down a little. Urgh. Okay. That's as low as it'll go. Well, maybe I can move it up. Ah, perfect. I don't know about you, but I always have a paper towel. I'm always wiping things in the kitchen. So you'll see these everywhere. And if they're not, not dirty, if they're not dirty enough, then I don't throw them away. I keep using them. I keep my eye on my husband if he's gonna throw away a good paper towel or not. Actually, I learned it from him because he uses his paper towels way too long. Anyway, so okay, let's take a look at this. See how it looks inside. Oh, I better keep that on because it's hot. So you can see all the um, oil and stuff is gone. So that just kind of reabsorbs, reabsorbs into the dish. So I'm just gonna take it out, turn it over. So that's the bottom. It's about an inch or two thick. And so you can see those bits of steak and the onion, and you can see the spring mix salad and yummy, yummy, yummy. So. It's really hot, so what I would do, what I would do is just take this, put it on the dish, and then put a dollop of sour cream on top. Boy, that would be so good. So anyway, all right, so this is a, a rare peek in Topeka's life and my clean, dirty, clean kitchen. So it goes back and forth all day long. So I hope you enjoy it, and I hope you make your food with a lot of flair. So anyway, thanks for watching. Pika loves you.